Okay. beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching I'm Sheree welcome if you happen to be returning you are truly appreciated thank you so much and welcome back today you guys today I have so many new fragrances that was sent over or girl I can't even talk I'm so excited I have so many fragrances that were sent over in PR and I cannot wait to spill the tea on these fragrances with you and I'm doing something different well kind of different sort of kind of listen most of these okay some of these I've never ever smelt before so it's gonna be like my really first time smelling them with you right in front of you like you get to witness my reaction with me so I'm excited about that some of them I have smelled I have played with because I wanted to give you like a little bit more in-depth review girl we don't even care just tell us about the fragrances anyway here on this channel I do cover fashion beauty luxury and lifestyle all things fancy and fabulous dwellings so if that sounds like something that you would be into stop what you're doing drop your sin of the day. Go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, but don't stop there. Press the notification bell. It will alert you every single time there's a new video on this channel. And if you wanna connect even further, okay, go ahead and come over and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping in right now. I'm gonna start with a new one that was sent over by Michael Malou, you guys. It is called Jodivy Blush. Now, I can honestly say I played with this a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. I was excited, I could not wait. I had to know how it smelled. I have the other one from their collection that is called Jodivy as well. Beautiful spring summer fragrance, very pretty girl, pretty vibe. So if you need something for every day, that one would be amazing. But let's talk about this one here. This is what it looks like. All the information will be linked in the description box below. This is a packaging, this is a box. Now let's get into opening it. It slides off like this. This is your bottle that sits inside. You guys, this bottle is really, really cute. Look at how it looks. I just thought that was different. Very unique, it looks different. This is what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like here. And then if you look on the side here, it does say Jodavi. It says the name of the fragrance. Oh, on both sides, super cute. So yes, it says Jodavi Blush. This is the new one here, absolutely love that. I love the cursive writing, it's written in gold. One of my favorite colors. Girl, tell us about the fragrance. So this here, I will say, let's start with longevity. Packaging is good. Now, let's get into what the fragrance smells like. So like I said, I played with it. I slept in it one night. I'm gonna say when it comes to longevity and performance, it's moderate. It's not a beast, it's not uh, in your face, it's not gonna get on you and stay with you forever and forever, but it's gonna at least give you a good four and a half, five hours. I didn't spray too heavy, I sprayed moderately as well. Like I said, I was going to bed. Um, woke up the next morning, I was able to smell it very faintly, but as I had it on through the duration of the night, I was able to smell it. It's a pretty girl fragrance. It's got pink pepper, it's got pear, it's got uh, strawberry leaves, rose, jasmine, honeysuckle, vetiver, it's cedar, it's cashmere musk. It is sweet, it is beautiful. It is a little bit sexy, somewhere along that first date kind of sexy. Um, maybe even a third date. Yeah, oh my God, it's so good. It's one of those, how do I describe it? It's one of those that you can just easily reach for. Like this in your collection would be everything because it's an easy reach. I don't wanna think about it. I don't wanna fuss. I don't wanna hassle. I don't wanna do too much. I wanna smell pretty. I wanna know that I smell good. I wanna come in and others will smell me and get a whiff and they're like, oh my God, she cares. She's well put together. You know what I mean? It's not stuffy. It's not like uptight. It's not doing too much. It is just a very, Pretty girl fragrance. Oh my gosh, it's really good. I believe to me, it's the strawberry and the rose and the honeysuckle and the pink pepper. It's very crisp, it's bright, it's fresh, but it's not like a, um, it's not like light blue. It's sweeter than that. It's along those lines. It is perfect for spring and summer. I do have a discount code for Michael Malou. Um, as you guys know, I've been working with them forever now. I do have a discount code. It will be in the description box below. It is for 20% off. So it doesn't just apply to this fragrance. It applies to all the fragrances on the site. So if you wanna save some coins and try a new fragrance, they do have samples as well. So let me say that too. You can also check on there and see if they have samples. They typically have samples. Since this is a new fragrance release from them, they may have samples on their website as well. So make sure you check that out. Thank you to the team over at Michael Malou for collaborating with me on today's video. I move on. Okay, another one that was sent over. Now I have never smelled this. I cannot tell you what it smells like. What kind of vibe is given? I can't tell you anything. I don't know, I can't tell you. This one here 
is kinetic and this is by to me this was sent over by so avant-garde the fragrance group this is what the box looks like here i've already unboxed it you guys just to save us time okay because i'd rather spend all the time talking and not unboxing it's a nice box standard box as well um this is what the packaging looks like it's red it's kind of different it's definitely bold in your face it's written there on the bottle where it just says kinetic there if you're able to see that to me's fragrances oh, oh girl don't break your nail it had like some protective tape on it they always have the best um what is this called like um caps for their bottles i do like that so you see it will not open right so when i first got it i was like oh my god it doesn't open it doesn't open the thing about it was is that you have to twist this off to the other side and then it opens up like that so there is a little twist there that you can do it and it won't open and then if you untwist it it will open okay i thought that was fascinating yes some things that are very simple humor me or amuse me, I should say. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for the first time? I'm making sure that the mic is on because you guys already know. Um, okay, here we go. See that? Nothing. Oh, okay, let's try it. It smells like a, a man. Mm. I don't have any of the notes in front of me. Ah. Uh, just off first impression, gonna be completely, totally, totally honest. It's, it's written all over my face. I don't love it. I don't love it. I, I I don't love it. It smells like a man. It smells like um. It smells like something that my. I was gonna say my dad would wear, but I don't really know if my dad would wear this. It definitely smells like a man. I have smelled these kind of men at church. Um, I've smelled these kind of men at the bank. I mean, where else have I smelled this kind of? Man? My guy doesn't smell like this, and I. Yeah, this one, thank you so much, uh, Soy Vanguard, for sending this over. This isn't my favorite. It's really nice. I believe it's a very mature um, male, in my opinion. It's just very masculine. Of course, it's a man's fragrance, but it smells like a man. If you know, you know. Um, like I said, more of like my dad. I could see him wearing this. Some of the elders in the church, some of the bankers that I've gone into sometime that may have put something like this on. Um, it's just yeah it's a no for me i'll pass i do have a discount code as well 20 percent off with so avant-garde so if you're interested in this one i would definitely say check it out but if i were to be completely honest and that's what i pride myself on doing on my channel and just in life in general this wouldn't be my favorite it is a new release it is a new fragrance release i will link in the description box where you can purchase it at but i know you can purchase it at so avant-garde and i know that i do have a 20 percent off discount code i move on another fragrance that was sent over by a new fragrance house house or well, I don't know if it's a new fragrance house I believe it is I looked at it a little bit I didn't see that they have been out forever and forever forever this person reached out to me over or this company I should say reached out to me over on Instagram and they were like we want to send you a fragrance I'm like okay and they were like well what fragrance do you want I'm like I don't know because I don't know your brand I don't know your fragrances I don't know anything so whatever you want to send over please feel free to send it over and they were like okay really really sweet uh person don't know if it was a man or a woman I was talking to you guys I really can't be sure because we were just going back and forth in the DM okay because it goes down in the dm and it is imperia fragrance i believe is what it's called the fragrance house is imperia fragrance beautiful bottle it got me at the bottle it was gold i was like oh my gosh it's pink you know simplistic packaging like i said i did open this up but i don't really i don't think i played with it too much i just opened it up because i wanted to take all the plastic and stuff off this is what the bottle looks like here i believe the fragrance is called ushan let me see Ush i could be making this up Ushan V, Ocean V, like Ocean V, but I believe it's Ushan V. Oh my gosh, beautiful name. Okay, uh, let's get into what it smells like. Let me give you some of the fragrance notes because what I did notice is that the fragrance notes are right here on the side, uh, which is very helpful. You guys can't see that, but you can see a little bit of writing there, right? Fragrance company, this is very, very helpful to put the notes on the box. So um, the company, Imperial Fragrance, shout out to you for just you know making it easy for us. So let me give you some of the notes, then we'll spray it and we'll talk about it it looks like it has brazilian mango italian bergamot frangipani coconut milk white woods um it sounds like something tropical it sounds like something sexy let's see if it's giving let's see if it's giving i love playing with new fragrances i'm gonna just spray it right here i think i spray oh my gosh oh okay okay oh it's giving it's oh my gosh 
It's giving a tropical vacation. It's definitely given a tropical vacation, but it gives something like I've smelled this before. Hold on a second. Let me just spray it on my skin. That's, it's good though. It's really good. It's good. It's pretty. It seems kind of uh, not light, but kind of light. Like it's not a beast mode. It's not in your face. It's not loud. It's not off-putting. Just off first initial uh, spray. Um, I Like I said, I can't recall if I played with this one or I sprayed it before when I took it out the wrapper, but it's really good it's nice it's it's like a pretty girl fragrance it's clean it's refreshing it's upbeat it's bright this is all that i'm getting from it you guys off initial spray i'm telling you but it really is good it's a beautiful fragrance it definitely is giving me a tropical island vacation definitely like get your swimsuit on get some big sunnies on you know get a nice hat put your moisturizer your sunscreen on we're going down we're going to sit by the pool we're going to relax we're going to chill give me a nice um i don't know an iced tea something refreshing something where it's juicy something peach did it say it had peach in it that's what i'm getting from it juicy peach peaches something is juicy okay no oh mango mango that's what it could be and the coconut milk you do get that it's a beautiful fragrance um imperial fragrance thank you so much for sending this over this is beautiful if there's anything that i find out more about it the longevity anything like that i'll definitely be back to let you know but our first initial impression i definitely think this is a beautiful fragrance like i said it's given very much very much where is this word coming from it's giving tropical vibes tropical island va vacation vibes it's perfect for right now i can see this definitely spring summer like if you're looking for something a one and done for summer you want to put something in your collection this would definitely be something that I would recommend. I'm going to leave all of the information in the description box below. I don't know if I have a discount code with them or not, but if I do, it will be in the description box as well. Again, Imperial Fragrance, thank you so much for sending this over. This is a beautiful fragrance. Very girly, very feminine vibes at the same time. Pretty girl, juicy, vacation vibes. That's what I got from it. I move on. Another one was sent over by Mincere. Oh my gosh, and I love their packaging. This is what this one looks like here. Looks like this is a new release that was sent over by Mincere. Let me show you what the bottle looks like. This is the bottle. Very simplistic, very elegant, very chic. This is gonna look so nice in my next Instagram reel. I'm gonna lead with this one. This is really good. This smells like, I did spray this a little bit just to familiarize myself with it and try it. It smells like gin. It's called Blue Gin, and it smells like a refreshing, gin and tonic cocktail is what I got from it. I'm very refreshing. And you can look at the little paper that they sent out. That's exactly the vibes that uh, it's given on here too. This is exactly what you see here is exactly what it smells like. It has notes of jennifer, blackberry, Szechuan pepper, and mandarin. So um, it's very fresh. It's definitely a very fresh fragrance. Let's go ahead and spray it and just see what it Yeah, it's fresh, it's clean, it's like on a hot day. It smells like a gin and tonic. A gin with some limes in it, a gin with some lemons in it, some mandarin pieces of the orange in it. You know how you take the skin of a ripe like mandarin orange and you go and you, when you first take the first peel, how it gives you that, it like, I don't know, perforates. Can I make that word up? Like you'll see something from the orange just go up like that and you get a good whiff of it. That is exactly what this smells like. This would be very nice on a hot, hot day such as right now. This is beautiful for summer. Um, It's not, it's classy. I would say classy. I would say kind of elegant, kind of sophisticated. It's definitely not giving me really any sexy vibes. I believe to me on a woman, this is giving classy on a man and i believe this is a unisex fragrance this is definitely going to give a sexier vibe it just looks like a guy who's well put together who's groomed who's polished who uh drives a nice car who knows how to dress okay and he is creating um a vibe with this fragrance like the person wearing this fragrance to me would have to shine because that's what's going to bring it to life that's the vibe that it's giving me i definitely think that this would smell better on a male than it would smell on me but it is a good fragrance so guys or ladies if you're looking for something refreshing something upbeat something crisp something like i said it has um mandarin in the opening like citrus notes you definitely want to give this a try this again is by mincere and it is called blue gin 
Thank you so much to the team over at Mencia for sending this over. Beautiful fragrance here. I cannot get my hands on For Your Love. That is the one that I am trying to get my hands on. Every time I go over to the Soy Vanguard, it's like out. So if I can get my hands on that, that's the one that's up next. But they have beautiful fragrances. So if you have not checked out Mencia and you're interested in some new fragrances or adding something new to your collection, I would say peruse their website. They do have amazing offerings. I move on. I shared these two with you guys already. I shared these two with you guys already, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on them. But I wanted to come back and let you know, remember I told you guys that Soulja Boy came out with his own fragrances, okay? I believe he's the first to ever do it, the first rapper to ever come out with their own fragrance. So kudos to you, shout out to you for pushing the envelope, for doing something different, for, for stepping out of your comfort zone. You know, a lot of times we find people and we box them into different things. People can do what they want to do. Let the man come out with a fragrance. So anyways, I am here to share with you both the fragrances he came out with him or for her, or for him, and for her, and I absolutely love it. I've been reaching for this one like crazy. This is the one for her. I do have a discount code for this as well, and it will be linked in the description box. You guys, this is good, okay? This is like strawberry, gardenia, it has vanilla. It's a beautiful fragrance. It does sit extremely close to the body, I will say that. Um, it's gonna give you moderate when it comes to longevity. I told you I would come back and let you know. It is about a four and a half, five hours, even if you spray extremely heavy. It is a light fragrance, but the fragrance notes in it, just let me tell you, for those of you that do not know, it has mandarin, strawberry gardenia, rose, vanilla, and musk. And it is a beautiful fragrance. It's very sexy, it's very playful, it's very girly, it's a nice, intimate, close encounter type fragrance. So yes, I have a full, well, a first impression on the channel, but I came back, I've had it for probably about going on two and a half weeks now and I like it so I still feel the same way it's still good good I'm definitely gonna be rocking this like crazy this summer it's perfect especially for an evening out if you wanted to do a lot without doing the most that's one to reach for same with the guys this one I said to you guys I told you this is heavier this is stronger this projects more this is louder so like I said it might be for him but she's gonna rock it as well because I just like a heavy hitter I like a strong heavy hitter, something very, you know, sexy in your face, but sometimes I do need to calm down. So that's why I do like that one. This one has lemon, peach, coconut, bergamot, jasmine, lavender, sandalwood, oak moss, caramel. This right here is good, good. And I'm gonna say it, this right here is set at XC. Yes. This is good, good. This is sexy. Of course, you guys, I love, love, love strong fragrances. But don't get me wrong, this is just as good as well. It is good, good, but it is definitely a softer, milder fragrance for the pretty girl or the pretty woman. Definitely signature scent worthy as well. I'll have both of these linked in the description box below along with my discount code. I move on. Jessica here on YouTube, you guys. She is an amazing fragrance content creator. I'm gonna put her um, her uh, her channel in the description box below. Check her out, she has so many fragrances. I mean, this lady has some fragrances, okay? She has some of everything. She's like, Shrey, you gotta try this. You gotta get your nose on this. She was the one who said, hey, did you try the new fragrance from House of Siage? And I was like, I hadn't seen it. I'm like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? So I think she showed it to me or she sent it over something and she's like, girl. And I was like, oh, she had a sample. This is it right here. So I have not even opened it. All I did was take it out of the brown box. This is what it looks like. Super pretty packaging. I've never seen this kind of packaging from the house of Siage. So this was very different. Oh yeah, this is how it opened. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. I'm so excited. Like, oh my God, and this is my favorite. This is Passion de la Mort. Oh my God, you guys, this is my first fragrance that I ever purchased from House of Siage. Okay, this is what started my bandwagon. I'm keeping this. Oh, I'm gonna keep this. Okay, so it comes with the card, comes with the envelope. Hopefully it's gonna tell us the notes inside of it because like I said, I didn't write anything down. Oh good, it does. Okay, so the tissue paper comes in case it's your first time. It comes like luxury to the door. This is a tissue paper on it. Looks like we have Nicole on here as well, who is the uh, creator of House of Siage. So that is it there. She's the CEO and that is their marketing campaign ad. And then on the back, it's gonna give us a literature about it. So is it for men or women or is it unisex? It's probably unisex. I'm tearing right into it, you guys. I cannot wait. Oh, look, I, it's still in the wrapper. Look. I have never opened it. We're gonna smell it together. I'm excited. This is one of my favorite. This is what it looks like. Okay, I'm keeping the packaging. Packaging is definitely giving like an island tropical vacation vibe. And that's what the feel of the fragrance is. Very sexy, something that you can wear on date day. It looks like it might be the for the man because it's shaped in that same type of 
way that the other men's cologne is. This is what the bottle looks like when you open it up here. But you already know what I say, man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock any fragrance that makes them happy. This one here, okay, it opened. Oh, it has that cool opening again. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I think I like this, I like this, I like this. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Did you see that? I love it. Okay. Girl, tell us what it smells like. It comes with the care card as well, giving you some instructions inside, I'm sure. I call these the authenticity cards for the fragrance. House of Siage is so classy, right? These are the authenticity cards here. It tells you how to open the fragrance and then it tells you a little bit more information about it. Congratulations, you are now the owner of an exclusive fragrance from Passion de la Mode, Zuali. Oh my gosh, okay, let's see what it smells like. What is it giving? But is it giving? That's what we wanna know. Let me tell you some of the notes. Let me spray it and then we'll go over the notes so we can give it a little bit of a dry down. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Let's get some of the notes. So top notes are bergamot, pink pepper, rose. Heart notes are cedarwood, sandalwood, leather. <sighs> Let's get to the base notes. Base notes are musk vanilla and patchouli if you know you know if if you know you know you guys Ooh. oh wait hold up hold on a second hold on i gotta spray this on my skin oh god hold on Women, you could wear this. It, I, it, it might be shaped in the man's packaging uh, of what I'm normally used to seeing the men's fragrance come in, but you could wear this. This is good. Oh my God. It's, something about it is, it's, it's not as strong to me as the original Passion de l'Amour. Um, it seems like something has been toned down and something has been sweeten up. I'm, I have no knowledge of any of this, you guys. I'm giving you my first impression. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm experiencing, what I'm feeling, what I'm sniffing and smelling. Something about it seems like they took the Passion de l'Amour and they said, calm down. That's it. It doesn't have the oud in it, right? No, it has the leather. Okay, that oud note, the sharpness of the oud note to me is, is missing, not missing, but it's not in this one. I don't believe, it doesn't say that it is. Uh, bergamot, pink pepper, rose, cedarwood, sandalwood, leather, musk, vanilla, patchouli. Yeah, and it's calmed down. So if you were a fan of Passion de l'Amour, the original, and you felt like, or it, it this notes kind of seem the same, but the other one had caramel in it and I believe raspberry, and I don't see caramel or raspberry in this one. So perhaps this is different. This just seems like it's toned down to me. It doesn't seem as sharp. It doesn't seem as strong. It doesn't seem as in your face. It seems like it has, um, like it's relaxed. Like, I don't know if it's, it doesn't say anything about an intense version or anything like that, but it definitely seems like to me, it is a um, toned down version, but it's good. It's good and it's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's sexy. All I had to ask myself is, girl, is it sexy? Yes, you guys, it is sexy. But, um, ooh, okay. Okay, and the dry down, I do get a little bit of smokiness. Let's see, what else does it say here? Aromatic earthy, pink pepper with sweet rose bergamot. Yes, okay, with the smoky twist, you see, I told you. With the smoky twist, it's the leather. So it says that it's deepened with the, it says it's deepened with oud. Okay, so it's a pink pepper, sweet rose, sparkling bergamot with a twist of smoky leather. It's deepened with oud, patchouli, and a creamy vanilla. That's what I said. It seems like it's smoky in the dry down as it's dried a little bit. Ooh, this is good for a guy. Okay, sexy, I see you. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, okay, I have to do a comparison. I have to bring them both and do a side by side. I'll be back to do that. Off initial, um, in the beginning to me, it smelt softer. As it dries down, you're definitely getting the leather. You're getting some type of smokiness. I guess that would be the oud. I think if I were to just make up my mind right now, I still prefer the other one. I, I still prefer the other one. This is good. It's sexy. 
Like I said, it smells to me pretty much the same, but something is different about it. It doesn't have that initial love, love for me that the original had. I'll do a comparison. If you guys are interested in that, leave it down in the description box below. I'm gonna do it regardless, but I'm just saying, if you're interested, it lets me know how fast I need to get it out for you. But this right here is really good. I would need to play with it a little bit more. It is definitely smoky down in the, um, in the, uh, in the dry down. So I don't get uh, I don't get as much of a feminine vibe from it, I should say. I definitely do get a little bit more masculine, I would say. This is just my initial first impression. House of Siage, thank you so much for sending this over. Beautiful, beautiful packaging, and congratulations on another fragrance. I move on. All right, you guys, we have received another fragrance from a new fragrance house. It's not a new fragrance house to the world. It's a new fragrance house to me. I've never heard of it before, and I was kind of like, what in the world when they sent it over? Because they were like, we're in Beverly Hills. Like, girl, how you don't know? I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Anyways, I believe I'm gonna say the name right, okay? Now listen here. Uh, first of all, I Googled it, okay? I Google translated it, I spelt it, and I was like, I'm saying it, I'm saying it. And then right when I turned the camera on to film for you guys, I completely forgot how to say it. <laughs> but I think it's called, here we go, are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. It's called Javaco. Javaco Paris Beverly Hills. This is the name right here. Can you see that? I think I said it right. If I said it right, do it right now. Hit the like button. If I didn't say it right, hit the subscribe button. It does not matter. I tried, just hit a button. Just hit a button because I tried. So I believe it's called Javaco. And the fragrance is called The Gift. You guys, the packaging was beautiful. Look at this. This is how it came. This is how it arrived. And then I didn't open it. I've never smelt it. I've never sprayed it. I've never done anything. This is what the top of the box looks like. They asked if they can send it over. I said, sure. Um, they said I could give an honest review. That's the only way I'll talk about it is if I could be honest with it. This is what the... This is what the packaging looks like. I just want you all to see it just in case you're interested in picking it up. The camera completely cut off. I have no idea where it cut off at. I'm gonna just keep rolling and I'll do it in post and edit. But in case you see it came back and I look like what in the world? That's what happened, girl, guy. The camera just cut off and did its own thing. Anything, anyways, this is coming over and this came over from Javaco. Hopefully I said that name right. This is what it looks like, you guys. They asked me which one I wanted to send Oh, I wanted them to send over. I said this one because it was pink and it was white and um, it was rose gold. So I'm, th I'm thinking it's beautiful. It comes in a nice little stand like this. I've never seen this bottle shape before. I've never seen anything like this. So this is a stand that it comes in. And uh, let's get into how it smells. Now this company is in Beverly Hills. I think I said that in the last clip. Don't know if you guys heard me or not. And they were like, can we send it over? I was like, sure, but how come I don't know about you? So it looks like it is... Um, Paris Beverly Hills. Yes, they are located in Beverly Hills. I would really like to go and visit the store, but this is it. So let's spray it. I've never heard of this company. I've never heard of any of their fragrances. Like I said before, I believe I did a little bit of research and I believe that their most popular one that I came across was something called 24 karat gold. So I do want to experience that and smell that one, but I do have this one here and this one is called The Gift. Now let's see how it smells. I do have some notes so we can talk about the notes as well. Ah, uh, um, the notes we, in our top notes, we have ylang, ylang we have peach, basil, rose. In our heart notes, we have jasmine, rose, lily of the valley. And in our base notes, we have musk or white musk, amber, and vanilla. Yep. Um, off initial spray, uh, I'm gonna say it's not my favorite. It's not m my kind of fragrance. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a beautiful bottle, beautiful, sh beautifully shaped, uh, beautiful packaging, beautiful everything. It's just not my uh, favorite. It's not my kind of fragrance, honestly. If I were to be completely 100% honest, it does not smell like anything I would reach for. Um, and the reason why, why, Shrey, give us some 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 commentary. Why? Uh, it's not sexy, but something about it smells. Uh, it's just not for me. It's it's not, It's it wouldn't be a choice that I would make. So I do have some information. I will leave Javico, Javico's information in the description box below, but this would not be a fragrance that I would particularly recommend to anyone because it's not something that I would wear. So how can I recommend something to you that I wouldn't even use myself? 
Um, yeah, it's just not me. It's just not me. That's it. That's it. That's all. It's just not my zhuzh. Um, but thank you so much to Javico for sending this over. I truly appreciate you. I still want to check out so many more of your other fragrances. Beautiful website. I've got to get my nose on 24 karat gold. I hear that that's an amazing fragrance and I would really love to get a whiff of that and experience that one as well. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel and check out today's video. I truly appreciate you. I love these kind of videos. Spilling the tea on the fragrances. Thank you to all of the fragrance brands that sent over these fragrances. I truly appreciate you as well. You guys, everything will be linked in the description box below. I do have discount codes for several of these fragrances. So if you want to save some money, make sure you check out the description box below. Everything will be linked there. And I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.